Today I will be embarking on the long-awaited journey. I will be reviewing every Call of Duty Zombies perk, and I'ma be hoping to make YouTube history with this video. Bandolier Bandit. One of the only perks added in Black Ops 4 that wasn't entirely useless, probably because it's so staggeringly simple that my 8-year-old cousin could have come up with it. 5 out of 10. Blaze Phase. So first off, 99% of you probably don't even know what this is. Blaze Phase makes it so when the user crouches, the area around them glows orange and it it charges up. Uncrouching sends them forward, knocking zombies in the way. This embarrassment to perk should have stayed in the drafts. 2 out of 10. Blood Wolf Bite. A wolf that spawns in when you take damage and kills zombies, making rounds go faster? It's a solid idea on paper, but in execution. It has a 5 minute timer, so it's completely not worth equipping. My only question is, what is that wolf doing for the 5 minutes when he's not active? Lazy bitch. 2 out of 10. Deadshot Daiquiri. For the people who don't know how to aim and rely on aim assist to do it for them, the slightly better hipfire is kind of okay I guess. 5 out of 10. Death Perception. The perk that lets you see zombies through walls. Is this useful? Kinda, sort of, but when you can only have 4 perks in Black Ops 4, it's simply a waste of space. They did bring it back in Cold War and made it much better. 5 out of 10. Der Wonder Fizz. When you're too indecisive to make the decision for yourself on what perks to buy, or on the maps that don't have Widow's Wine. 4 out of 10. Double Tap Root Beer. Faster fire rate and double bullet damage. A classic perk that's hard to beat. 8.5 out of 10. Dying Wish. This perk is obviously the crutch perk of Black Ops 4 to the point where you have to have it on every game. Unfortunately though, it's not really a fun perk and you always feel just a little dirty using it. 7 out of 10. Electric Cherry. Reload your gun and zap the zombies around you. The more bullets you have left in your gun, the more zombies get zapped. It's simple, it's enjoyable. 7.5 out of 10. Elemental Pop. The perk that gives you a random ammo effect on your gun makes me question why use this instead of just choosing to put one on by yourself. I don't know, I don't like it, it steals my kills when I'm grinding for camos. It gets a bonus point for having one of the coolest looking perk machines though. 4 out of 10. Ethereal Razor. The perk that makes your melees better. Pretty much only useful on Alpha Omega though. 3 out of 10. Juggernaut. Probably the first thing you think of when you hear the words Call of Duty Zombies perk. Jug gives you a little bit more HP. A simple concept, perfect execution, 10 out of 10. Mule Kick. You can't get any simpler than just getting to carry an extra gun. Most of the times the simpler perks are the better ones, this is not one of those times. 4 out of 10. PhD Flopper. There's something so satisfying about flopping around blowing up zombies. The immunity to explosive damage isn't too bad either. 7.5 out of 10. Quick Revive. In solo, it revives you. In co-op, you can revive your teammates quicker. Not much to complain about here, not much to praise. 6 out of 10. Secret Sauce. Controversial opinion. Secret Sauce is a much better way to do random perks than the Wonder Fizz. But unfortunately, Secret Sauce was in Black Ops 4, a game where 90% of the perks are utter doo-doo. 5 out of 10. Speed Cola. Over the course of a game of zombies, a player probably reloads a few hundred times. Nothing feels better than the first reload after buying Speed Cola. 9 out of 10. Stamina. In a game where movement is the only thing keeping your ass from getting ran over by a horde of zombies, a perk that gives you faster movement and longer sprint duration can't be overlooked. 10 out of 10. Stone Cold Stronghold. The perk that only benefits benefits you if you stand completely still, and promotes the most boring style of gameplay. It's only really useful while doing the most uninteresting of high round strategies. 3 out of 10. Time Slip. The perk that makes mystery box spins faster, pack a punch faster, and when in the modifier perk slot, it makes special weapons and elixir charge faster. All of these little things adds up to be a somewhat decent perk. 6 out of 10. Tombstone Soda. You literally have to bleed out just to get any use out of this god awful perk. 1 out of 10. Victorious Tortoise. Another one of those rare occurrences where a perk added to Black Ops 4 actually had a purpose. 7 out of 10. Vulture Aid Elixir. The perk that does a million things is just another reason that the easiest map in Zombies history is even easier. 6.5 out of 10. Who's Who. This perk lets you revive yourself when you take it down, but only gives you an M1911, making it impractical in most situations. 2 out of 10. Widow's the most OP of OP perks. Widow's Wine is the definition of making things a little bit too easy. Its only drawback is accidentally killing the last zombie. 8 out of 10. Winner's Whale. The Dollar Tree version of Widow's Wine, except it costs just as much. 4 out of 10. Zom Shell. No. 